Hey Stampers, Gainer again, and I've been having a play with the Memories of More pack again. I think I've already done a card using this, but I'm not using the large ones. I might be using the stickers to do some decorating, but we're gonna I'm gonna show you how to use up your little six by six uh, three by four cards. I have cut a couple up. Um grab my papers. And I'm going to be using these little ones. So one, we want doubles. We want two in each each pocket. And you're thinking, what's going on? So I'll show you in a moment. Two, uh, two. I think I've got some more somewhere. Yeah, I've made. I've got another pile of them here as well. Uh, I'll sort them out now if I can find my extras. So that one and the stars, we want two of those. So one, two, three, four. Okay, oh, it's the yeah, yeah, yeah. I've got to find the backs. <laughs> Game is getting a bit confused. Com. Oh, I got some in my other one. That's what it is. I'll show you what I made actually in a minute. That's cute. And that's cute. So we want some journaling cards. We also want some way you can add a photograph, so we'll, we'll sort those out in a minute. We'll go through it, but let me show you this cute little. And again, we're using up designer series paper that you may have laying around that you might not need, or you're thinking about how to use it. And I've come up with this cute, it's not my idea. Let me see if I've wrote it down. Folded shadow box. No, I'm using some of my lemon ribbon. I wrote it down. I don't think I did. No, I haven't wrote it down. I just followed the lady. I can't think of her name. I will find it and I will try my best to tell you. Let me just have a quick look on my page quickly. I'm sure I've got it. No, that's not it. No. No. Uh, I haven't. I've clicked off. But I will find it. But look how cute. It's made with your envelope punch board. We've all done these little things before. I have made one with envelopes, but I followed. I just followed this lady because I thought it was the cutest little thing. I mean, I loved my memories of more packs. I you'd do a couple of cards and then I'd forget that I got them. So you're using little envelopes. I made a boo boo on my first one, but I put a piece of designer series paper in. So we've got journaling cards. I need them on the outside actually. So people can journal on those and double them up. But you could also add a photo either side and then journal on the back. And they slide in. Perfect fit. I had to cut the first two cards down, but uh, the rest are all three by fours. These are again, space for a photo, space for a photo. Um or maybe photos this side and then journaling this side and again they just slide in and you've got two in each pouch and we've used one two three four five six envelopes i have done the score 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 so we can just wrap it around instead of having a bulky square so this is, you will then glue your envelopes to your piece of cardstock. And again, they're all beautiful three by four photos and space for journaling. So I'm going to leave the journaling sides poking out. So, and you can get more in there if you want. I've just added two of each. I don't know why that's not going in. What's wrong? <laughs> there we go. But what a cute little gift to give to somebody. You can fill it with photos for them. Um, I decorated with this lemon lolly 
um, this came in a pack of three lemon lolly azure afternoon and bubblegum <laughs> I'll get right in the end but I just thought the lemon worked lovely with the berry burst papers and I use berry burst because it's their new returning colour and I haven't used it yet but I thought it went great with this memories and more pack so and I like to use up designers and I didn't really so much as use designer series paper this is one of the three by four cut apart and so this is one of the this is half of the the six by four and I just made sure I got a decent border and these stickers are from the sticker pack which comes from where I can find them there it is there's the stickers I use and I've got another set there so just use up your stickers got a piece of card stock and the rest are just designer series papers from old old papers now I used them this is from the hydrangea set I haven't glued any of them down yet because I will show you I've got one two three four five I've made the five you don't even have to round the corners off because we're going to be gluing them down so let's show you how I made this quickly and this is just a piece of six by six and you're going to put this in at two and five eighths and then just punch and follow yourself all the way around making sure you line up on that line perfectly and follow it round and you can round the corners but you, you're not going to see them and I'll show you what I did making sure that line is on that corner so you're following through so you're not left with bits tucked out so there's our little bits I love this envelope punch board it's brilliant I don't use it that often but when I do it's worth its weight in gold as they say so I'm keeping my purple on the outside just have a splash of color on the in now oh, I haven't done it on these yet so I'll do it on the rest um, I am literally going to fold that on that join making sure it's a straight line and you can play it by it it doesn't matter if it's perfectly straight just as long as it doesn't come past here and here and then I'm going to flick it back the other way I've got my little blob of glue and I'm just adding a tiny little squirt use my bone folder it's just that it's easier to tuck in instead of having this poke because that's just going to bend all the time when you're putting stuff in then I got my little tape roller and I'm not I'm just going up the sides and across and I'm just doing it pretty loose I'm not squashing it flat don't worry about the envelopes uh, the flaps because we're going to fold both ways quickly and then this one is going to get attached to there and we're just going to keep doing it into in a straight line so give me a couple of seconds I don't want to come past that cardstock. I'm going to fold that back. Blob of glue. You don't have to, you can leave it poking up. Just going to push that down. That'll be drying while I add my little. I mean, you could have double side. Oh, I, I think I might have a little bit of glue on the inside. Yeah, there, I can feel it. Just that tiny little line. my little so just put your close it loose again just make sure nothing is stuck and then fold and burnish both ways because we're going to use this as and it's going to look like a little concertina so again just pull back even if it's just before those lines 
You don't even have to see that it's perfectly straight. And then I'm just going to fold it the other way. Blab of clay. Push that over. And it's just easier for when I come to tuck those little cards. And now I'm going to have to be really careful with this. You can use tear and tape. And I got our cute little envelopes. Swash. Swash. And it's so simple. So I'm going to have purple, green, purple, purple, green, purple. <laughs> Only because that's the way I did it and I thought it would look cool. But you can do whichever you want. Let me make sure that's nice and straight. See, some are, little, some are a little bit bigger than the others, but you just really want to curl up this end. And you can even glue these if you want. Just add the tiniest little bit of glue either side. It's entirely up to you. You don't have to, but then you're going to have to sit and wait. And I don't really want to squash it down. Now, if you get any little tufty overhangs because of your envelope punch, I think mine might need sharpening a bit. So these are where the little notch cuts it out at the top. It's only just to straighten it up. Again, we're going to swash and swash. So we've got purple, green, purple, purple, back to the green. I'm just going to make sure my nail comes up. I pretty much level that out. And like I say, they're all six by six and they're all done at two and five eighths. And once you've got your first line and your cut, uh, your punch in, you just follow the lines around as you would on your envelope punch board you'll find the, the, the first line is five two and five eighths the second one is just way over the other end because it's the longest part and then you'll find on your third turn it'll be back on two and five eighths so I just thought these colors looked good with some of the colors on here you doesn't have to be bang on the same color down to our last one Look at that, even you can fold them inwards even, make sure it's a little bit straighter. Add your glue. And I cut a load of my old designer series paper a couple of months back into stacks of six by six, just for storage benefits more than anything. And I just used some of those. I mean, it's one and a half sheets if you were doing this with your good stuff so even if you were doing it your good stuff and up-to-date stuff it's only one and a half sheets for six envelopes so let's put my little tape runner away I could glue them with that put my scissors away for now I'll come back to that in a bit and my ribbon will set to one side now this piece is cut at I think I've forgotten because I haven't written it down this is four and a quarter so it's only giving me an eighth of an inch either side because I don't really want I want it to all pre look pretty level I don't really want because this is only cheap cardstock unless you were going to glue two pieces together it's only thin cardstock so four and a quarter by eight I think it is or eight no actually it is four and a quarter by seven let me just flick that back and forth so we've got all our envelopes let's grab our scoreboard and we the the cards are three inches so three and three is six plus a quarter six and a quarter right so it's three and a quarter we're going to score three and three eighths three and a half and three and five eighths 
that's it because we've got the score lines we're making it more rounded like a book so it fits and you haven't you can just I just go like that back and forth I'm not gonna sit and score every line I just know when I attach my envelopes I've got a nice little rounded piece and let's just fold one of our envelopes and this envelope which the last one you're going to fold back so you've literally got the tiniest little border right on the end so you can fit your little pockets inside and number two we'll have two on the so one can you can write on one and photograph on the other or add a photo on the side you can't write on and journal on the back so and then you can get two three or four cards in here so that is i don't want it like i'm saying with too much overhang so score it at three and a quarter three and three eighths three and a half and three and five eighths just to give you that little foldy and I call it bendy spine because if you've got a square and it's not perfect then it's going to look silly but when you've got this ribbed edge it doesn't matter it looks absolutely beautiful and straight I mean some of mine are poking out the bottom but you could make it maybe slightly wider it's up to you but these decorations I just cut from the card stocks so that's it so right let's get to moving our envelopes we've got them all so like I'm saying I'm starting with purple and then I'm going to go green and you're going to make sure you glue it right up to it but without and making sure they're level all your envelopes are never going to be bang on the same but I'm just joining that one up and I'm just gluing the flat Pull that over. I'm just going to help that swishy down. So you're not even going to see the flaps on any of them really. And then you're going to go to your purple. And again, you can fold this over if you want. We're actually going to concertina them. So again, lift this up, fold this over, and turn and glue your flap. That way you know that they are all basically together more or less pull this over give it a smushy smush and then flip it back oh there we go Gain is going there we go <laughs> so we like that or just do so i'm going purple green purple purple and then back to green now that envelope seems a little bit big that one seems perfect you could just literally fold add your glue i don't want to confuse anyone so i'll do it like this and then fetch this up so your flat folds and line that up and just press it into place and if you want to flip it over you can smush it down you can keep all the envelopes exactly the same if you want so we're going to be concertina so now our next back to green and again I'm just going to bend this back just so and if you wanted to add more envelopes you could add as many as you want um, just have an even number I would say that way when you've come to concertina you've both got your flappy flaps flip that over and just mush that down Nobody's going to see the back anyway, so but we just want to make sure it's all pinned down beautiful. One, two, three, four. So purple, green, 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 pur purple, green, purple, purple, green, purple. 
Now, for some reason, this looks a little bit on the big side. And look at that, it does. It looks about half an inch too big. So, give me two seconds. Oh, again, 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 ah, stretch. Oh. So, let me see if I can find that paper, hydrangea. Let's see if I've got another piece. If not, let me see what we've got this way. I haven't, but I might just use that one, actually. Or I could just pop in a blue one. I mean, you could change the envelopes all up if you want. I think I might have another set of this, actually. Give me two seconds. Where's my... Because that's what I did with all my old, old designer series paper. I cut it all up into six by six pieces. Made myself another DSP holder. And in that went. It's not in this packet. This one. Beauty of that. Just give me a second. I might have another packet. Oh yes, here it is. Oh, I just spotted it somewhere. There, look. Ah, that's a green. in here somewhere so these are just random pieces and you can use all these for envelopes so I've got another green let's see if I've got a purple as well ah there we go another purple so let's put them back in there these are just random pieces that I fit in a cello bag and I've got odds, uh, odds and playful DSP sets and then all the, uh, the colours that went with so I don't want to mislead anybody so I've got a little oversized envelope I'll use that for something else oh my goodness stretch gain a stretch <laughs> <laughs> so let's start with the envelope again so two uh a three by four is six by six and two and five eighths so two and five eighths let's just use my follow the line around oh yeah two and five eighths put the second i uh, see on the second line you're back to two and five eighths so you two and five eighths are opposite and then oh i didn't score let's go back in and then this is the long side of your envelope. So when you put that in, that goes all the way up to about three and a half. So, perfect. So I've got my little, see how I've got a little bit of roughage there because I think, I don't know how, unless I put foil through it, how I would sharpen that. So let's just hope it makes the right size envelope this time. I fold it in, turn it up, just give it a quick swash. Let's just test that that is right. Look, see now this is this is a larger envelope as well. Unless my card paper is not six by six. Ah, I never thought of that. So let's just put that in. That is six. And that is six. So why is that? My other envelopes have turned out great. <laughs> oh, Gain is having one of them days. So let me fold that over then and pull on the score line. Let's pull these in. And let's pull the score line in. Let's see now if that's a little bit better. It's still a little bit large, but we are making a handmade gift. So let's tuck, tuck, tuck. Make sure that is lined up. Give that a little glue. Fold that over. Let's 
and then we can tuck our sides in. And it's not like I went wild on the other envelopes. I left them pretty loose, but I'm just going to get, oh, I've got itchy nose. Just going to grab my scissors just so I can tidy it up that little white paper clean them off so that looks a lot neater now perfect and then this little which is a little slightly bit oversized and then what we're going to do we're going to glue this one backwards because we don't need this So fold this over and then we're going to glue that one on there we're just going to make sure it lifts up it is a slightly bit long that is really concerning me now that is i might just trim that off you know and then add some washi tape down the side or leave it open as a top pocket because i don't really want these to let me just check the width of this. Let me fold this in. Because Gaina doesn't want to mislead anybody. So therefore, just over four and a quarter. This one is the same size. What is wrong with me? <laughs> Gaina's going to Lally. So let's just check. And look, it's it's the same size as that one it's just a not the same size as the green one or is it it is oh it's, my eyes have been deceived <laughs> so like i'm saying double check i'm just gonna add some glue now check my battery's fine so i've got two bars it says Squash that down. See, it's got a little tiny hang up, whereas all the others have lined up. Oh no, that one's bigger as well. Look there. That one's slightly bigger. They're perfect, perfect, perfect. And then that one's slightly bigger. We've got so it's handmade. So here we go. So centre, we're gonna push together and make a huge WWW. And then we're gonna squash it together. And we're going to make sure that it's pretty much come together. It might be my gluing, see? So that's hence the reason I've gone score, 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 score. Instead of just scoring here and scoring here and squaring it off. So it will take up any imperfection. And then what we're going to do, we're going to glue that page in there. Giving ourselves the tiniest little border and then we're going to glue that one in there as well so the center piece is loose so you can open the flaps up basically so let's get our glue on our first page I and mean, if you want to leave if you want to just glue down the sides and down the back you could have this at the front as an opening pocket as well but uh, i think that as two cards in each one is plenty so you've got 12 photo mats and 12 spaces for journaling i think it works out like that anyway so i'm leveling that up i'm leaving the tiniest little border across there as you can see and i'm just gonna burnish this down and you like I'm saying you can make your outer piece a quarter of an inch so it's a quarter of an inch all the way around you know me girls I'm not fussed on small borders uh, big borders so I like a small one but uh, again and now I can line this up it might look a bit skew with when I lay it flat but I'm coming to here it's gonna be over a little bit so when my book opens and closes, it's still tucked to this back page. So let's get that glued down. And 
get this up to the front like so giving myself a tiny little border and then the book lays flat what do they call these little brag books is it envelope brag book or something i don't know i don't know but it'll all stay together in this beautiful little cover it's not if you want to spend time measuring your envelopes making sure they're perfect you could do even you know i'm going to make sure my little blemish is on the back so the per the front looks perfect i'm going to grab some of this ribbon just tie myself a quick little bow only so i can see how much i need that's a little bit much pull that back down and you need a small bow just it's only just to keep this book closed nice little bit perfect grab my ribbon scissors and I'm just going to leave my tails pretty long that way in case you want bigger loops you can so skisses away our ribbon can go away and we've got our panel and I'm just going to pull this to the front just so there and when I add something on the front and on the back it's in the center and it's not going to I mean if you want to cut your back card over slightly just to hide the blemish it's just that I'm rushing this for the video sake but you can tell uh, it's nice and lined up on this one you can't see the pages it's beautifully lined up absolutely gorgeous there was a little bit of a boo-boo inside but uh right now i'm gonna do the same on the back as what i've done for this one and i just cut one of my six by fours in half and that gives me the perfect little framing on the back i mean i don't want half ha on there so you could add any one of these cards i just like the pink stripe to go with the berry burst paper so this is the back so it doesn't matter if it's upside down left right and center <laughs> or in the as long as it's in the middle and you've got a nice little border all around and also it's going to keep that ribbon in place absolutely gorgeous and just to decorate up the back a little bit i've got that cluster of stars again here Got a little few little bits on the inside. Get rid of those. And this time I'm going to add my stars that way round. It's just to break up the back. I mean, you could add another little fault on the back there if you wanted to as well. It's just the cutest little thing. And on this one, I had this already cut out and I had these already cut out. I use my very old uh, balloon punch, which is nothing to do with this set. It's just from years and years ago. And I added the balloons and then just two pieces of paper that I got spare. So we could, you could even add one of these on the front. It's the perfect size. So you can add a photo or you can add some stick. In fact, I'm going to use this one. It matches that pink and it highlights the berry burst. Or you could do that, you could celebrate, but I prefer the other side. And what a great way to use up your memories and more if you have a, uh, you don't know how to or don't know what you were going to use it to make cards with or if you wanted to make little brag books like this. This would be great for a graduation present as well, so you, they can take pictures of their friends and share their little memories of being in college together. Making sure that's a little bit more straight. That is so cute. Then you've got the words, hey, hey, hey. And you can put that in there. I might just... A little rainbow. No, I don't think the rainbow is going to go with. Let's have a look at the back. Where, oh, there they are. I've gone right past them. 
Um, I could add that balloon, them balloons on there. This little ticket. Oh, in fact, I might do that actually. Add this little ticket. I'm going to pop this just above and just outside that edge. Just give that a little wee. And that's not straight, is it, Gainer? Oh, these are really sticky, so don't even try getting them off. Oh, so let's disguise that. Let's come in with this little pink star as well. And just pop that in the corner. I'm going to pretty much leave that. I'm going to leave the back blank. So what have we got here? We've got... We've got this, you can do it. We could cut that down and have that in the centre. Got good times. Oh, I like the pink actually. Let's cut this down. Let's just strip that off and then go with the good times. I'm going to, I want a thin white like I've got there. These can go for something else. Let's just leave this. Maybe I will pen and I'll just I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll cut that end off first. I don't have much space to pen it, but I could just put the good times on there or down in this box. Oh, I think I'll add that down in, and then you've still got space to add a small photograph. But I think what I'll do with these, I'll add this on dimensionals so. I'm just going to put them towards the bottom. Battery's about to go, so let me get that ready to swap. In fact, I'll swap that now so we're not having to wait for a really bad blank screen for five minutes. Just want to put this on charge. Oh, there we go. So I'm just going to add another one and I'm doing it down the bottom. That way they can tuck a little photo behind there. Got a little tap, squeeze, squeeze. And do you know what? I've been looking for my little foam strips for ages and all Christmas long. I just couldn't find them. And then when I put all my stamp sets away off my trolley, they were underneath. <laughs> so I'm going to have this about here and that way they can still add a little photo behind and fit it in that square there so i might cut this down let me just see what size that little inner square is it must be two it's about two inches two by three so it's a little bit shorter than two by three so let's just what's on that one it's got so let's just do one and seven eighths see if that's long enough three yeah it is in fact that might just fit perfect actually so that could tuck right behind there look at that so they can have a little two by three photo I might just tack the bottom down. I'll tell you what I will do. Just to keep it in place. Get a little glue dot. Just put it right at the very bottom. Take the backing off. Oh man, roll up my sleeves. And I'm just, i tell you what I am going to roll them down actually. I'm just going to rub that glue dot on my sleeve and it just takes away the sticky you can do it also with your what's it called oh i've forgotten i've forgotten you're in bussing buddy so i'm going to tuck that behind just press it into place so it doesn't fall out and you can remove it with a little tug i'm going to pop that on there I've got my little camera stamp. And I'm just going to line that up. And I'm going to angle it actually. 
and add a little camera picture on the front How, i haven't got my light on no wonder it's a little bit dark in here sorry about that girls so we've got a little ticket we can take out just to show that a photo can go there and i'm just pressing it in at the bottom the space to add a photo on the back i'm not going to stamp the camera on all the pages inside because not everybody wants to just add photographs they can just journal if they want to so i've got my large ones they and you can do the same i think now let me have a look for a six by four envelope uh da, 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 six by four you'll need an eight and a quarter by eight and a quarter and that you'll score at three and three eighths and you can do it the same little book for six by fours with eight and a quarter by eight and a quarter papers and then obviously you're going to need slight obviously bigger outer rim but you can do it for the three by fours and the six by fours so let's get this open quick just to get I like this ribbon it keeps it close it's not one of them rivets that as soon as you want to tie it, it goes it keeps it closed to keep your little you could leave you could even add your store cards in here and people if i'm not saying they're gonna rob you but you know because i've got the concertina this will fold open on every page my little concertina is taking up the spine area so let's get We've got space inside for journaling front and back and also add a photo. So one, two, three, there's four spaces for photos. If you want to add just photos, I'm going to turn it that way just so I can get my little tickets in. And there's plenty of space to add your photos and it will, uh, with the concertina spine, it will take up the bulk and then let's add so photo photo we can't really journal on them let's go for journaling ones basically so photo journal photo journal so let's put the journals on the inside and again look how easy they fit into place so what we got here oh there that's the nice one and this one so we can have um, photo photo journal journal and they fit in there beautiful and I'm glad I tucked those in because if you go to poke you could curl those little bees that were there so I just took them in so journal photo photo journal yeah there we go there's another two I'm loving those little stars and the purple seems to go with it as well I know it's not bang on perfect but you know I'm using up I'm using up stuff I don't need so let's have a look I don't really want stuff in too much there we go there's a nice one with for journal and a, and a picture there is that one but there's a green one there look at that perfect so you can add a photo on the back and journal this side same with this one so let's put them face in and because we've got mostly green on here and purple that side i'm going to make sure those go in there and they can i mean you can push them in a little bit further or you could and you could even use a thumb a to punch to punch a hole here so when you put your cards in you've got somewhere to pick them up but i'm going to make your life hard and <laughs> no money joking so journal look at that photo space journal photo space journal and i just gotta think i'm gonna leave that beautiful little purple one oh for some reason look at that my page is glued down so be careful when you're gluing there we go so we've got a tiny little brag book made up with our memories and more pack we've only used two four six 
two, four, six, eight, twelve cards. I've got twelve cards in that one as well, and I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I've cut one up ten, eleven. 12 so I would have had enough in the packet to make three of the mini ones and in the large one you get and I've cut a couple of these up and used them in other projects I think you get 12 of these one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven I think you might get about 16 in there because I know I've used some and I've got my little cello bag, which it just says one set. It used to tell you how many you had. You had four by six. Um, but it doesn't say anymore. You used to have, you used to get 56 small ones. And you used to get, I think it was 24 large. Or 28 large. Because you had double the small ones as you had to. But they've cut them right down. Now you only, I think you only get about... 18 small or 24 small and 12 large but look how cute they've turned out I love that one with a little photograph on there and I can turn it to the side just so you can see my little emblem you can go round add more stickers and decorate these pages up I mean you've got all these lovely stickers just grab one of these I mean I like the congrats. You could have that along this little and just decorate up the entrance to these lovely little envelopes. So cute. Um, you could have that. You're the best. And just have that. Let's have that here now let's have that up here don't want to oh they're really sticky so make sure you line them up before you stick them down not like me so let's see what the other one says because we've got two lots of stickers so we've got way to go let oh i love this like that one i'm gonna pop that just along this edge here that is so cute. We've got a group of balloons here. I love that. I know, I like it, so I don't want to add that yet. I think I might add that there. Yay. And just decorate your little pages up. You can add die cuts. You can add... Um, oh, it's up to you. You can just go to town. Let's... It's party time, and if you want, you can go over half of this with your embossing body to get the stickiness off and just cover that up. So I'm just going to put it there, and that overlap. But how cute! Got this gorgeous little balloon, and I see other words. Way to go! Cheers. Maybe I'll add a little star just there as well but I'm not going to overly decorate these these are just projects for the videos but uh, I just hope you enjoy them as much as I did I even keep my little cut apart in case I want to say something on a different project so let's add these up tie them up even you can use any ribbon you want you don't even have to use a ribbon. You could close it with a belly band. It's entirely up to you. I just think they adorable little envelope brag books. They can, grandparents love this sort of stuff at Christmas, especially if you're filled with the pictures of the grandkids. Oh, I love it. Let's just pull that now, so that's nice and neat. So there we go. I hope you've enjoyed. Uh, I'd love to see your projects if you give it a go. That'd be amazing. So come back on the next video. All glory to our great Lord and Saviour who, who gives us these wonderful talents and ideas to share with all you beautiful ladies. So memories and more, two little brag books, 
a tiny bit of cardstock and some old, old designer series paper and you've got yourself beautiful little handbag or purses as you call them or wallets as a gift to give to somebody as a birthday present or just because you love them and you just want to say hi and or you just want to share photos so there we have it young ladies and girls and boys i hope you've enjoyed till next time bye